Your first name and last spell it both for me. Uh, Sophia, S-O-F-I-A, Salazar, S-A-L-A-Z-A-R. And you're dead. My father is Enrique, E-N-R-I-Q-U-E, Salazar, S-A-L-A-Z-A-R. And uh, kind of take me through the, this morning with this fire. What happened? This morning around, I would say, midnight? midnight uh, not one. Around one, around one in the morning, we had a knock at our door and um, because it was late, my younger brother and I went to get my father to see who was knocking. Um, it turns out it was our neighbor and she told us that the um, unit above ours, or uh, towards the end of the building above our floor, um, had caught on fire. So immediately I dialed 911. I ran upstairs to wake up the neighbors, get them out. Um, my father ran over to the unit that was on fire and uh, broke the window with a metal bat really and kicked off. the door open. Um, he was able to extinguish three fire extinguishers in there and um, meanwhile I just had to run around and get the neighbors out, knock on doors. By that time the uh, police had gotten to the apartments and were knocking on doors as well. So how many uh, were in your family? In my family there's six. It's uh, myself, my mother, my father, uh, my two younger siblings and my uncle. And so recently the residents here at the apartment complex had gotten uh, a notification from the county? Yes. From, uh, tell, tell me about that. Uh, June 14th we had a formal meeting. Um, basically DeKalb County School District brought the apartments to build a new elementary school here. And so all the residents were notified that by August 31st, on or before August 31st, everyone had to be out. And uh, have you had some neighbors move? We have had some neighbors move. Um, a lot of difficulties finding apartments for a lot of people, but um, in our building there are 12 units and as of this morning there were five units still occupied. Any reason to be suspicious about this fire? At the moment, no. I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, management and maintenance were taking down some of the like wiring and the electrical things in the apartments, in the unoccupied apartments. Um, that may have caused the fire, but we're honestly not sure. And, um, honestly, at the moment, no reason to be suspicious just yet. And do you have insurance? We do not have renter's insurance. Actually, I don't think any of the uh, people living in that building had any renter's insurance. And uh, what are you all going to do now? Now, um, well, we're actually in the process of moving out as well. Um, we were to move out tomorrow, and we were going to move into our new place. So as of now, it's just seeing what can be salvaged from the fire and just moving what we do have into our, our new home.